Hello everyone! What is going on? Broken Mike here and welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to this week's episode of BUW. And this is episode 152, the Go Home Show before next week's Summer Bash event. This is part 3 and if you guys have missed anything from the previous two parts then do make sure to head on over and give them a watch. As you can see, we are going to be kicking off part 3 of the show with a one-on-one -on -one match from the men's division and it will be Victor Wolf representing the Wolverines going one-on-one -on -one with the current BUW United Kingdom champion Ian Berg. Who's going to get the win here? Let's find out. Now, if you guys do enjoy this one, then do make sure to leave a like for Mike, slap any comments below, and do make sure to subscribe to the channel. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from London, England, weighing in at 252 pounds, Victor Wolf. Making his way down to the ring, representing the Wolverines, Victor Wolf. And this upcoming match is a match that Ian Berg requested. He said he'd love to face Victor Wolf one-on-one -on -one after they came face-to-face -face in a recent qualifying match during the Last Chance Men's Journey to Gold uh, qualifying match just some weeks ago on where Victor Wolf was victorious. You say this is a battle of the wolves. Victor Wolf going up against the wolf man himself, Ian Berg, the current United Kingdom champion. Doesn't matter where or when he's competing, this guy just wants to fight, and he's about to get one. Victor Wolf, a decorated star wherever he's been. WCC, the the champion over there, the current five-time VCW world champion as well looking to grab that brass ring himself in BUW has come close on a few occasions and his opponent from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 248 pounds, the European champion, Wolfman Ian. And his opponent making his way down to the ring, the BUW United Kingdom champion, Mr. Grand Slam, Ian Berg. Ian Berg currently holding the United Kingdom title, the First championship he ever won in BUW back in 2019. After winning a tournament to crown its inaugural champion. Ironically, it was that Summer Bash in 2019 where he won his first championship in BUW and he went on 
to become a Grand Slam champ. Has had a bit of a slump here and there. And recently recaptured the UK title. And here we go. This one-on-one -on -one match is underway. The Battle of the Wolves is underway. And Ian Berg getting a quick start here on Victor Wolf. Victor Wolf with a vertical suplex. Knee drop, nobody home, and seems that knee could already be damaged. Ian Berg perhaps looking to take advantage. The hammer lock. A nice Northern Knight suplex cover. Ian Berg gets a two count over Victor Wolf. And this is a dream match for some people. And look at this power on Ian Berg. The military press. Looking for the springboard 450. A right hand, waist lock. Inverted DDT. And of course, this is not for Ian Berg's UK Championship. But he will be defending it at Summer Bash. Ian Berg moves out the way of Victor Wolf. Nice spinning heel kick there after the, one of those combination of moves. And Ian Berg now maybe looking to capitalise. Has the pin. Not even a one count on Victor Wolf. Oh, beautiful high angle suplex. The way he pulled Victor Wolf up and then slams him into the mat was incredible. But Victor Wolf has the upper hand at the moment. Only five punches of those ten punches are doomed to Ian Berg. Oh, forearm to the back of the head. Stomp on the arm. And Ian Berg looking... Very good here, the deadlift military press. And drops Victor Wolf into the pin. Gets the one count on that exchange. And Ian Berg can't believe it. Ian Berg, springboard 450. This time it connected. Right hand. Kick to the gut. Another hammerlock looks into the Hit that Northern Knight suplex again, which he does. Nienberg looking fantastic here. Nienberg with the right hands. And there's a slap for good measure to Victor Wolf. And again, transitioning back to those right hands. And another slap. The lock up. Ian Berg gets hung up on the top rope from Victor Wolf. Targeting the left arm of Ian Berg. Victor Wolf on the apron. Heads to the top rope. Takes flight the double axe handle. A leg drop. As Ian Berg by the ears. Up and down. Unbelievable. Oh, he's got the waist lock and he's taking Ian Berg to the suplex. Kingdom. And that usually begins, to be, usually spells the beginning of the end for Victor Wolf's opponents. Looking for a win here. Into the pin. And Ian Berg kicks out at two. And Victor Wolf cannot believe it. Oh, and Victor Wolf with that victorious crossface. Will he let? Will he get Ian Berg to submit here? He lets him out. I don't know if that was a smart move to make. He doesn't even go for the pin. 
This could come back to haunt Victor Wolf. Delayed vertical suplex. And into the top rope. Takes flight. No one home for the leg drop. Ian Burke, can he capitalise? Nice spinning heel kick. Ian Burke with the left hands. Finding their mark. And there's a slap again to Victor Wolf. And there is a spear from Ian Berg. And he could be closing in on another big win. Can he get him up? He can. Victor Wolf in trouble. Jack Hammer. And that could spell the end. And what? Victor Wolf gets the shoulder up. And not too many people can say they've kicked out of the jackhammer. You hear the fans cry of fight forever. Ian Berg bending the hand and wrist back of Victor Wolf. Drives the knees into the kidneys. Oh, and Ian Berg were looking for that springboard stunner. Ian Berg still got plenty of juice in the tank. Kick to the side of the face. Ian Berg looking for the win. Well, referee's not seeing the ropes. And Ian Berg steals a victory. And that was controversy. Talk about controversy, folks. Anyway, here is your winner of the match. The BUW United Kingdom champion, Ian Berg. And by hook or by a crook, a win is a win. And Ian Berg will gladly take it. And I failed to see how the referee missed that spot with with his hand with Victor Wolf's hand clearly on the bottom rope but anyway like I said Ian Berg victorious this week on BUW going into Summer Bash as of right now we're going into our next matchup and it'll be from the women's division and this one it's another big one it's Wendy representing the broken bloodline should be going one on one with the new BUW Women's YouTube Champion, Brittany Beth, representing the country lasses. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from London, England. Whitney! Making her way down to the ring first. Representing a broken bloodline. Wendy. And what a huge match this is for Wendy. Not only could she upset the current women's YouTube champion. And also get back into title contention and try and win the first title she won here in BUW. But of course, a first time encounter between herself and Brittany Beth in BUW.
the women's internet champion, Brittany. And her opponent making her way down to the ring, representing the country lasses, the new BUW Women's YouTube Champion, Brittany Beth. And Brittany Beth recently became not only the Women's YouTube Champion, but also ended the long undefeated streak of Chelsea Wayand just a few weeks ago. Well, not even that really, just a couple of weeks ago since that young lady achieved that goal and captured her first piece of championship gold in BUW. Brittany's been on a roll as of late, but she's got a experienced veteran in Wendy, a former world champion. And Wendy, look at that strength on show already. Looking for the basement drop kick, nobody home for Wendy. And Brittany Beth with a pendulum backbreaker stretch. And Brittany can't afford to take her eye off the ball here. And Wendy setting Brittany up in the trio woe position. And a kick to the gut. And now choking out the current YouTube champion. I'm sure uh, the former champion Chelsea Wayne will be watching backstage. She will get her rematch at Summer Bash against Brittany Beth. Discus elbow drop attempt. Nobody home. Lock up. Wendy whipping Brittany Beth into the corner. And Wendy, look at this power. Headbutt. Follows up with a kick. While Brittany was on the top rope. Cover. Just gets the one count and Wendy can't believe it. Wendy now pulling away at the arm. The right hand. And look at this power on show once. Well, look at this. She's got Brittany Beth up. Look at this delayed vertical suplex. Discus elbow drop. Wendy into the cover. One count only, and Wendy cannot believe it. Rapid fire right hands. And she's fired up here. Wendy absolutely fired up for this match. Huge opportunity for the former world champion. And look at that power bomb. Brittany able to kick Wendy off. The lockup. Gut buster. Wendy staying on the offense. Oh, well, Brittany able to counter. Oh, no, wait a second. Around and round, away she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. The swing from Brittany Beth. A right hand. Knocking Wendy for a loop. Has Wendy in her grasp and she's looking to repay the favor from what Wendy did just m seconds ago Brittany into the cover and she gets a one count discus elbow drop left hands finding their mark on Wendy knee drop on the shoulder right in the arm the chop. Oh, man. Wendy in a bad place there, but Wendy able to counter before disaster struck. Wendy with the right hands. Looking to pick up the win over Brittany Beth. Just a one count, and Wendy can't believe it. 
Mandy doing the right thing, staying on the offence. Knee drop onto the shoulder. Brittany with the counter. And Wendy able to counter back. Alabama slam. And there's a look at this, the accordion rack from Wendy, the submission hold. Will Wendy be able to make Brittany tap here? The, these two similar in styles. Something's got to give here, you got to say. Wendy unable to find a way through Brittany's defense. Up until there, the DDT. Oh, and Wendy gets a near fall, and Wendy's questioning the referee on the count. What would a loss do to Brittany's confidence going into a match of Chelsea weigh in? A lock up. Brittany sent over the top. Mm, Brittany landed on her hip there. And outside, the two superstars. And Wendy, look at this. Trying to get Brittany onto her belly, she does. There's the Boston Crab. But it's not going to win Wendy the match out there. Wendy with the walls, but Brittany getting out of trouble. And Wendy getting her shoulder ripped apart here. Lock up. Wendy counters. Back inside the ring. Oh, look at this. Gut buster. And Wendy into the pin. A rope break this time, and the referee was able to see it. After what happened in the end of our previous matchup between Victor Wolf and Ianberg. Referee couldn't afford to make the same mistake twice. And um, Wendy looking for the finish. Brittany able to counter Brittany with the spear. And what's Brittany looking to do here? She's going for the pin. Just gets a one count on this exchange. Clubbing blow to the back. Rights and lefts. And there's a headbutt to Wendy. What a match this has been and the accordion rack on Wendy this time. Will Wendy submit? Is Wendy going to tap out? No, she releases the hold. I don't know if that was the smartest thing to do from Brittany. Leg drop attempt off the middle rope. No one home. Clubbing blow to the back. Shot to the knee. Follow up with a kick to the ribs. Heading to the top rope. Takes flight. Elbow drop from Wendy. And rapid fire rights. And of course, Wendy would love another opportunity to become a champion again here in BUW. Has held the U2 title once before in the past. Oh, and... Brittany able to counter Wendy. This is incredible. Wendy back up into the corner. Elbow to the face. Wendy reached the knee of Brittany. And, oh, and Wendy in trouble. And look at this. Losing Wendy like, a, like gym equipment. And slams her into the mat. Into the pin. And Brittany Beth is victorious, but what a hell of a match. Great matchup between these two awesome superstars. 
Wendy a BUW original not saying it's a pass the torch moment Wendy still has plenty to offer BUW just like the rest of the roster a hell of a back and forth matchup between Brittany and Wendy and I hope we do get to see these two clash again someday down the line This was just an epic encounter from start to finish. And there it is, the just slamming Wendy off the bending her and twisting her in half. But anyway, folks, here is your winner of the match. Representing the country lasses, the BUW Women's YouTube Champion, Brittany Beth. And of course, I know a tag team partner, Country Girl, will be very happy with the outcome of this match. And that's a big win going forwards for Brittany Beth into her championship defense against the former champion, Chelsea Wyatt. Incredible. Absolutely incredible matchup between those two. Anyway, moving on to our next match. And be from the men's division once again. And this is actually a Wrestleverse rematch from earlier this year. It will be Dio Patterson representing the Outsiders 2.0. Going one on one. We have Nathan Saunders representing Heavy Rain. Of course, these two had an instant classic at WrestleVerse earlier this year in a Iron Man match, which ended in a 2-2 draw. But we had a deciding stop, uh, sudden death decider straight after, where Nathan Saunders scored a decisive decision. And at that point, Nathan was still uh, the YouTube champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Outsiders from Charleston, South Carolina. Weighing in at 229 pounds, D.O. Patterson. Making his way down to the ring first, representing the Outsiders 2.0, D.O. Patterson. Dio was in action on last week's episode against Corey and fell just short in that match. Dio looking to rebound here. Still looking for that revenge over Nathan Sanders. Still looking for that big win over Nathan Sanders. And his opponent making his way down to the ring, representing Heavy Rain, Nathan Saunders. And as we mentioned before, Nathan Saunders and Dio Patterson had a classic at Wrestleverse this year in an Iron Man match, which Nathan eventually went on to win in sudden death. And at that point, Nathan was still the YouTube champion. Will we get a 
revisit from that match from back then. We'll have to wait and see after the bell rings. And here we go. The lockup. Dio getting off to a quick start of that Hurricane Rana. Dio trying to catch Nathan off guard here, but it's going to be a bit difficult. Dio, Nathan went for a splash, nobody home. And let's not forget Dio Patterson's a former world champion. The sit down mat slam, hook both legs. Only got the one count on that exchange. That was a warning shot to Nathan Sanders. And Dio Patterson. Heads to the top rope. Hits the splash. And Dio, those shots to Nathan Sanders. Sending Nathan into the corner. Elbow to the face of Dio. Whipped into the corner. And there's a chop. And pulling away at the arm and shoulder of Nathan. And there's a right hand from Dio. And Dio looking very impressive in the opening minutes of this match. Into the cover. And Nathan kicks out at two. And Dio cannot believe it. Nathan able to counter. Inverted suplex. Nathan Sanders heading to the top rope. He's not known for his high flying ability. An elbow drop. Just as Dio was trying to get back to his feet. Shoots the half. Just a one count for Nathan. Nathan absolutely fired up. Nathan now. Snake eyes. A shot there from Nathan. Of course, Nathan still looking to rebound after failing to capture the men's journey to gold briefcase a few weeks ago. Dio kicks off Nathan. Springboard. Into a DDT. Rolls him onto his back. Hooks a leg. Just a one count for Dio. And he can't believe it. Pulling back Nathan Saunders by the head. Kick to the midsection. What's Nathan got in store? Oh, Dio won't allow us to find out. He counters. Oh, beautiful drop kick. Dio heads to the top. Nathan getting called to his feet, but... Oh, Dio gets caught with a headbutt. And Dio in a precarious position here. Pump handle, power slam. And that could be the end of Dio's night. Hooks the leg. Will this be enough of the victory? Not this time. It's only a two count. And Nathan cannot believe it. Could be one big move away from finishing it. And we could be about to see it. Oh, wait a second. Tillman termination. Hooks the leg. And Nathan Saunders with a comprehensive victory. That match deserves another look. Here we go. Great showing there from Dio in the early going. Look at that springboard DDT. Dio looking to capitalize. Only got the one on that exchange. This was beginning of the end here. The pump handle power slam from Nathan Sanders. 
So nice we get to see it twice. And I think that delay from Nathan with the pen thought that was going to cost him eventually. But no, one Tillman termination later, it's over. So here is your winner of the match, representing Heavy Rain, Nathan Sanders. And what a dominating performance that was from the big man, the former YouTube champion. One Tillman termination on Dio Patterson ends it. But that is going to do it for part three, folks. If you have enjoyed what you've seen so far, then do be sure to leave a like for Mike. Slap any comments below and do be sure to consider subscribing to my channel. But the action isn't quite over for this week, folks. We've still got two more matches to go. We've got a huge women's tag team match coming your way with the women's tag team champions in action. And, of course, a huge non-title champion v. champion match. You don't want to miss a second of any of that action. So until then, do take care and I'll see you all after this final break.